Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. The NVIDIA Shield TV is still one of the best streaming devices you can buy, hands down. But I've seen a ton of comments and posts from Shield owners saying that the most annoying thing isn't performance or updates, it's that one Netflix button that keeps getting pressed by accident. It's placed right where your hand naturally rests, so it's really easy to trigger without meaning to. If that drives you crazy too, don't worry, in this video I'll show you how to remap that Netflix button step by step so it only opens Netflix when you actually want it to. Let's check it out. Every Shield owner knows this one. You grab the remote, maybe to change the volume or select a new app, and you accidentally hit Netflix. Then you're stuck, waiting for it to load, backing out, and going back to whatever you were doing. It's small, but it's annoying, especially if it happens all the time. Now, luckily, there's a free app that completely fixes this. Head to the Google Play Store on your Shield and search for an app called Button Mapper. It's totally free and lets you change what any button on your remote does. Now, go ahead and install it. Once Button Mapper is installed, open it up. It'll prompt you to turn on something called Accessibility Service. Click OK and that will take you straight to the Settings menu. From there, go to Device Preferences, Accessibility, then scroll down until you find Button Mapper. Select it then toggle Enable to On. Now choose OK to confirm, and once that's done, you'll be taken right back to the Button Mapper app, ready to continue. Next, scroll down to Add Buttons and select it. You'll see an option that says Add Buttons. Click it and a prompt will appear that says Press Button to Add. Now go ahead and press the Netflix button on your remote. It should show up as button 12. When it does, click on that. If you get a message asking to upgrade to the Pro version, just choose No Thanks. Because everything we're doing here works perfectly with the free version of the app. Now toggle Customize to On. You'll see three options, single tap, double tap and long press. Now here's what you want to do. Set single tap to no action. Set double tap to no action. For long press, click actions, then choose applications, then Netflix. That's it, now the Netflix button won't launch Netflix unless you hold it down. Now a quick side note, since we're talking about Netflix, here's something you'll actually want to open more often. If you've ever searched for a movie or show on Netflix and noticed it's not available in your country, that's because Netflix libraries are region locked. But you can unlock all of that content safely with the NordVPN app. NordVPN is the VPN I personally use on my Shield, Fire Stick, mobile phone and PC. It lets you access Netflix libraries from around the world, so you can finally watch shows that aren't available in your region with zero buffering. You'll find my NordVPN link in the description. It supports the channel and gets you a huge discount if you want to try it out. Before you test it, there's one last setting you need to check, and this is the step that most people overlook. Go back to the main button mapper menu, scroll down to troubleshooting, 
and make sure the alternate button handling option is turned on. Now this setting is what allows Button Mapper to actually work on the NVIDIA Shield. If it's turned off, the app won't properly detect the Netflix button presses and your changes won't take effect. Now back out to your home screen and give it a try. Tap the Netflix button once, nothing happens. Double tap it, still nothing. But hold it down for a second and there it is. Netflix opens instantly. That's exactly what we want. You'll never accidentally open Netflix again, but it's still just one long press away when you do want it. But here's the really cool part. If Netflix isn't your favorite app or you don't really use it, you can change that button to open something else. Instead of picking Netflix, you could set it to open Plex, YouTube, Kodi, or whatever you use most. So that button doesn't have to go to waste. It can actually become a shortcut for your go-to app. So that's how to remap or disable the accidental Netflix launches on your NVIDIA Shield remote. It's quick, free, and easy. If this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more streaming tutorials, app tips, and device guides. Also, be sure to check out my other channel, Tanda's Tech, where I cover more general tech, smart home gear, and the latest devices. You can also follow me on X to stay updated between uploads. And if you want extra perks, including access to our private chat group for members only, hit that join button below and become a channel member. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Now this setting is what allows Button Mapper to actually work on the NVIDIA Shield. If it's turned off, the app won't properly... If it's turned off, the app won't properly de detect... If it's turned off...